KMB College in Jalandhar and here a program is being organized. Uh, it's a workshop on uh, drone technology, its applications and its f uh, functioning. Uh, so here we have some experts on drone technology uh, from the NIT Jalandhar and from the KMB College and also some industrial experts. Here we talk to them. Uh, first of all, Dr. Sandeep Verma, who is the pro lead project uh, uh, for the drone project from NIT. Uh, yes, sir, uh, if you could just tell us about this program and... Uh, so this program is actually about training the individuals uh, about this drone drone thing because you know everywhere now drone this technology is booming like anything so the project this particular uh, this event is under the project which is mighty sponsored and this objective of this project is like uh, from training individual from assembling the drone and getting the fundamentals like aware awareness of those fundamentals and then uh, experiencing the flying the drones in the field so that's what we are focusing on and uh, this is a uh, this we are very really thankful to the director Binod Karkonojia and director Nnd Zirande so because of his wisdom only we are doing it. Yes, sir, so, uh, what are the latest ch since drone is the new technology and it's uh, an upcoming thing and its applications are very much uh, widespread now so what are the biggest challenges which uh, you facing these days and uh, the demands from the industry that are coming yes so basically when we talk about challenges uh, while bringing drone to the field uh, is basically the lack of awareness and lack of the technical depth even because when we are going to train through this project also we are making them aware that what are those typical things while operating the drone you must take into the consideration what are those green zones red zones where you have to fly where what are those uh, guidelines that you, sh you should take into the consideration before even fly uh, flying the drone so these are some challenges on the ground level that a person should be made aware how he needs to operate that drone under what conditions and, and what are the rules and regulations and then after of course uh, what when it comes to the applications like for agricultural applications and for other applications uh, different camps are being held and people are called upon to tra to participate in those camps in those events so that they can get aware of this so if you we are talking about agriculture uh, use so uh, maybe for fertilizer spray or whatever yes, yes. so is it a costly uh, technology or uh, uh, if we compare it with human uh, resource use is it cheaper how do you uh, yeah it? basically ma'am it's a very rightly said point because earlier phones were very much expensive now cost cutting te technology is coming the same thing is happening in the drone thing as well uh, earlier the this agriculture drone they were out of reach they were out of thoughts also but now of course with uh, even uh, this uh, by initiative from the prime minister of india the, the things are you know the cost are cut, being reduced every now and then so uh, a time will a time is not that far when um, a normal farmer will be having on lean, lease basis that he can use the drone and then can pay back to the on the rental basis like that. Uh, India is also ma manufacturing drones now, but uh, uh, if you compare the prices with China, so yeah. uh, are we able to compete with them? Ma'am, this is a very you know a very intriguing question because uh, of course China is way ahead in terms of DJI because of the stability and all that. But yes, we are on to that and uh, we ho uh, we are doing uh, a lot of startups are doing really great in the th this thing and we hope uh, very soon we will be able to reach to that particular point uh, recently nit also held this program with jointly with the bsf yes so bsf has uh, some other challenges their their problem is yes. drones coming from pakistan yes yes and uh, uh, then uh, if they are able to catch hold of those drones they need to uh, uh, I mean, uh, do some testing. Exactly, on them. exactly. Yeah. So, so this, this, this was there at the part of BSF when we held it in the BSF. We came to know about what are the challenges. Like even in the during the foggy conditions, they are not able able to tra uh, trace yeah. the drone. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then they are also used for the smuggling purposes. Now, in one one of the incidents that happened in Manipur, I, I guess uh, there there was a Mizoram or Manipur. I'm not sure about it, but there happened a uh, drone attack as well also that happened. So this is this is really a very you know uh, wake up call for all of us to get on to hold of this technology as early as possible so that we can uh, detect and we can do preventive measures so that this, this, those things doesn't happen at all. Right. all the world, yeah. yes. Thank you. Uh, next we go to uh, Captain uh, Ashni Kumar Acharya who is uh, uh, with a startup company uh, based in Odisha. This company is Unmanned uh, Warrior. So, uh, sir, uh, we, uh, tell us what are the newer kinds of drones which are coming up, the latest technology that we have in India? 
ओके मैम सो थैंक यू फर्स्ट एंड द न्यूएस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी वैन यू कॉल अबाउट द ड्रोन्स सो ड्रोन्स आर नाउ कमिंग विथ नॉट ओनली द फिक्स डूइंग और द रोटर क्राफ्ट टाइप नाउ वेरी शून विल बी यूजिंग द हाइब्रिड मॉडल्स सो द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ बोथ द थिंग्स विल बी मिटिगेटेड और विल बी काउंटर पार्ट एंड now we'll having the hybrid drones so with that technology we'll have a longer flight times longer endurance we can fly for maximum flight times like we can uh, be in the air for like one day or two day okay so we have better batteries yes we so have we not have better batteries maybe we uh, creating such kind of environment in terms of solar or in terms of hydrogen powers okay. So yes okay so the, the, these are solar based which are coming right? yes ma'am okay so if it's night they are charged uh definitely some kind of r&d is going on now in india okay. so definitely uh, within a very short while or by 2030 as the project is going on maybe we will be reaching to the particular level so uh, is it like uh, uh, in the near future we can see something like what's happening in us that uh, amazon is able to deliver things via drones or some hospital supplies coming via drones truly mentioned ma'am uh, same way so we have also tested some of the project delivery systems in india itself uh, in uh, noida in uh, delhi also in bangalore some of the projects is going on some of the amazon sends pizza delivery is tested by using the drones uh, some of the projects we got it succeeded but in some of them we got failed because of uh, lack of awareness because people think it's a object they just pull it down so it's kind of new uh, technology to them definitely one day will come they will uh, no sooner like uh, we reached mangal before than anyone else same way in drone technology will achieve that height and uh, is your startup also helping uh, labs related to drones for their uh, uh, assessment or detections yes uh, for now we are uh, establishing coes for colleges and universities uh, with the help of their funds and everything and our uh, ex- uh, means uh, expertise so we are establishing labs for the students so they can learn from this labs and they can experiment on the issues the problem statements so with the coes it can be achievable okay how do you rate indian drones visa uh, visa other for uh, mid drones uh honestly being said uh, to this particular point uh, nowadays uh, indian drones if we are talking about manufacturing 100% manufacturing not done by indians yes it is true some of the parts and components uh, been imported to india and we are assembling it but yes very soon we will be achieving okay so you think uh, there can be a time when uh, almost like the way sir said every farmer can own a drone and uh, maybe some photographers or some videographers they can have the it is already going on as the if you know about the drone didi programs and the swami yojana of the prime minister movements so they are getting relaxations from the governments uh, like 50% 60% yes subsidies 50% 60% reduction in amounts they are getting so a former wife can go to the uh, like they can train on uh, the drone part the drone technology and they can get their own drones with a very minimal price if you thought about a agriculture drone initially when it was launched like 10 lakh to 12 lakh rupees nowadays it the agriculture drone what we are using right now 10 liter 16 liter 15 liter and 20 liter maximum so when we talk about surveillance drones we need cameras we need different different type of cameras like our normal rgb cameras to multi spectral lidar based so the payload varies depending on our use cases so properly for now we are using uh the cameras and the ca- payload as a tanks for agriculture this is uh, dr neetu verma from the department of sciences uh, dean sciences in uh, kmb college uh, ma'am uh, how has this uh, how is this workshop going to benefit to this scenario is the scenario of innovation and technology and we are very much privileged that are uh, under the leadership of our worthy principal ma'am dr atima sharma divedi we are able to organize basically host this workshop and it is organized by the dr b r ambedkar national institute of technology jalandhar <coughs> and uh, with this uh, technology we are making our students aware about the latest things and they will be a future of uh, india and they will must they must do the projects with our team and uh, under their leadership they will definitely do some project earlier we are holding many innovations at the level of the ministry of innovation cell uh during the toy hackathon during smart india hackathon and our, our students are proving their excellence in those projects so, and uh, this is uh, just uh, for the step yeah.
excited about this one? Yeah, they are too much excited. Mm -hmm. They are they are in the room at nine o'clock, whereas the event was started at nine thirty, and they were too much excited how to assemble a drone, how to get the fundamentals of drone, and even now. Before the time, they are there in the <laughs> hall okay. and yes, yeah. and they are enjoying the lecture a lot. Okay. And they are very curious that what, how they have to fly a drone right. in the uh, coming days. So, uh, you give them a demo also? Yeah, a demo? Uh, earlier there was a demo of a drone and now they are giving the description of all each and everything. And I am sure uh, in a, just after the completion of this workshop, they will be uh, highly dwell in the field of this technology. Because today is the era of artificial intelligence and they must, uh, it's our duty and the institution is doing very good in this part under the able guidance of our Vardhi principal ma'am.